Hot Wheels. Why are they so iconic? Why does everyone who has old cars now, at some point, had a Hot Wheel? Whether you're into lowriders, muscle cars, even Volkswagens. Or maybe you're looking for something way more radical, like Darth Vader's car. Hot Wheels has you covered no matter what you're looking for. And they're having a car show to turn another real life car into a die cast toy. So let's walk around the show, see what radical stuff is out there. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't, <laughs> I have no clue what this car is. To me, this looks like an Austin Martin that's been heavily modified. At a quick glance, the headlights have been modified. Those wheels are way oversized. It has four doors, but the rear does look like an Austin Martin. Those look like Austin Martin taillights. Looks like they took an Austin Martin DB7 or DB9, stretched it out and, and put another door on it. Right next to that, there's this beautiful patina lowered Chevy looking awesome. Beautiful looking hot rod. Then if you grew up in the 80s, you know what this is. This Mazda B2000 is straight out of the 80s and 90s. It's got those Porsche alloys, it's just a you know nice color blue. You look inside, they got those massive speakers. The bed tilts, and there's also speakers in it. Back in the day, man, you could hear these things from a mile away. This 55 Chevy Evil Knievel tribute car is fully customized. Just beautiful interior, center console, dash has all been redone. Uh, the outside, the trim has been removed. Under the hood, you got this huge individual throttle body, big block. The white body color against the gold accents really make this thing stand out from your typical 55. This Corvette with the bug-eyed air cleaner sticking out of the hood really embodies the Hot Wheels style. If you look on the side, it's got those nice lake pipes. The fenders have been flared out. If you look at it from behind, it's got a nice two-tone paint, Lamborghini doors. And check out all them shifters, man. That's, that's a lot of shifters, a lot of shifting on this car. This Chevelle is small. This is probably half the size of a typical regular size Chevelle. And uh, it's painted pink. Uh, the rest of it seems to be all Chevelle. And if you look under the hood, you can see that this is an actual Hot Wheels car. You see the die cast toy right there? Have you ever seen a fastback Ford Mustang Daytona? Chrysler powered? Nope, neither have I. This is the first for both of us. Check this out. There's a Hemi under the hood of this Mustang. It's got a Daytona wing. Those tail lights, I have no clue where they're from, but it's typical. We're at a Hot Wheels show. You have a Hot Wheels style car. Look at those lake pipes looking nice under there. The interior, it looks like it's just a 66, 65 fastback Mustang. But the exterior of the car tells you a whole different story. I couldn't begin to tell you what this is, but it is a cool, Cool looking custom. The only thing I do know about this is that it sits on a Volkswagen chassis. So from the body down, it's Volkswagen. From the body up, fully customized. It's really cool. You see that white, like, 8 track player right there? Really nice car. And right next to it, of course, it's beautiful. I mean, not heavily modified, but just really nicely restored Chevy Impala right here. All the chrome has been redone. Beautiful paint job. Look at that purple top. Just an amazing car. If you look in the trunk, it is super, super clean under here. Everything's color matched. All the pumps are engraved. Just a beautiful looking car. All you Volkswagen Rabbit fans, here we go. Here's a Mark I Volkswagen Rabbit, probably in the 80s, really early 80s. Beautiful original paint job with those nice BBS wheels and those BBS stripes. Uh, it's got those uh, blinds in the back. Now, it looks like the only thing they really modified is everything under there. It's got a Porsche 3.2 engine in it. In the corner, they had this car tucked away. This is a Buick something or other. I don't even know what it is. I've never seen a Buick like this. This is a real nice 60s uh, bubble top. I'm saying it's bubble top because it looks like a bubble top Impala. But I've never seen a Buick like this. And this is real cool because you see the 
it looks like it has original paint a little bit of rust on there those wheels aren't original but man they make them look so good on, on, they make the car look so good and if you look at the interior i mean it looks original this is a be beautiful car i don't know what it is if you guys know what it is go ahead and sh let me know in the comments well it looks like vans are making a comeback this is a really nice g10 van i think it's what it is it's on airbags got some wire wheels really cool looking car well here's one you don't see every day the front end of this car is a 1950s ford the door looks a little suspect the back end is a 1950s ford but in the middle looks like it's a 90s thunderbird looks like somebody grafted a 50s ford in between the thunderbird this cutlass right here it's just a typical lowrider but if you can see almost every part that could be gold plated is gold plated valve covers alternator pulleys even the headers look like they were gold plated if you look underneath looks like every suspension component that could be gold plated was gold plated in the trunk your hydraulic pumps they're all detailed gold plated plumbing i mean none of that is cheap paint job is beautiful if you look inside steering wheels gold plated there's a lot of accents like the door handles even the the door lock buttons are both gold plated this is a nicely restored cab over engine work truck and next to that we got this beautiful ferrari now i'm not a ferrari expert or anything i don't know what model this is but this is a really nice example of one of these kind of cars and i've always liked these this era of ferrari uh this milk wagon is ready to go get you the milk as fast as possible with that blown engine Right here we have a full-blown race car. It's probably alcohol-fueled. Who knows how fast this thing goes, but it's a full-on race car. Right next to that, nice little tea bucket police cruiser. This car really looks like it just came out of a Hot Wheels package. And right next to that, here's this turbocharged two-liter Volkswagen. Believe it or not, this is a Volkswagen. Heavily modified, but still a Volkswagen. Fenders are gone, roof's been chopped. Uh, I mean, you name it, it's been done to this car. This Impala was one of the nicest cars at the show. When I walked up to it, it looked like it had carbon fiber wheels. But the, I talked to the guy and he said they were just covered in carbon fiber. All the trim on this vehicle was porcelain coated, which just, it's something I've never heard of. But man, to make this car look amazing. This is a real life Hot Wheels car. From the outside, it looks like your regular Chevy truck. If you look inside the bed, well, it's anything but regular. Everything on this truck came off of a Corvette. Suspension, engine, trans, differential. The whole underside of this truck was all modified so they could fit all the Corvette drivetrain into it. I talked to the owner. He said a lot of the parts were made in-house. These valve covers were just hammered out of big block Chevy valve covers. This cooler right here is not only for looks, it actually holds the battery, the ECM, the fuse box, and a lot of the wiring that go to the engine. It's amazing what some of these builders can do, how they can use a cooler, make it look really cool behind the, in, in the bed right there, but it's actually a functional piece. I talked to the owner, he said this car runs amazing, handles amazing. He says he's got about 20,000 miles on this setup. If you take a look at the interior, see that roll cage it actually connects the front to the back the roll cage goes through the, the cab uh, interior is nice and comfortable just an amazing looking car we go from a super modified car to just a nicely restored little Datsun uh, B210 I think is what it is this beautiful van right here I mean, if you grew up in the 70s, this is the car that you wanted, or this is the van that you wanted. This is a really nice example of what these vans were like back in the day. You have a big old grandma-looking couch in there. Those, uh, those heart-shaped, diamond-shaped windows in the back. If we look at the interior, it's just stuck in the 70s. There's a front view of the couch. See those, those roof panels that it has? Stained glass windows on those little cabinets. 
and a beautiful surround sound 8-track player up there. This really nicely restored Datsun 280Z. It just looks awesome with this body kit. Now, I'm the kind of guy who says that sometimes body kits ruin cars. Unless they're done nicely. This one is done really, really nice. Everything matches. It's, it's just nice and tight. The wheels are tucked right where they should be. Interior stock, but it looks like it's been restored. Just a beautiful looking Datsun 280. GM's G-Body cars. Here are three examples of why these cars are so popular and why they're so desirable. First, we have this Oldsmobile. The engine has been swapped out with an LS, but we look at the interior, really, really nice. But next, we have this Monte Carlo SS. If you pay attention, they all share, they all share the same basic body. Interiors and exteriors make the difference on these cars, but they share a lot of parts. They share a lot of engine parts, suspension parts. But here's the granddaddy of them all, the Grand National. This was the fastest one out of, actually, this was the fastest car in the 80s when this came out. And this is one of my favorite cars. These are the bucket list cars. I don't know if I'll ever get one because prices are astronomical, but these cars are beautiful. These cars are amazing. If you're a fan of that welder up show, well, they came by to show off some of their hand built trucks. So we got a tow truck and we got this little rat rod truck sitting on the back. Of it. A lot of the parts on these cars were handmade. If you remember the show, they built suspensions. They, they built everything on these cars. They're both running diesel powered turbocharged engines. Uh, as is typical, they love that diesel power over there in Vegas. Uh, this little rat rod truck, it has a lot of cool touches on it. You see that, that license plate rat head in the back. If you look at the interior, it looks like it literally, it looks like it's a literal barn in there. Really cool looking trucks. It looks like everything's been customized. Everything's been done by hand. Most people are familiar with this. This is the Midas Monkey built by Gas Monkey Garage. And this really actually looks like it's a Hot Wheels toy that they just pulled out of the package. That big old blown motor sticking out of that hood uh, makes it look fake. <laughs> it makes it look like it shouldn't be on the road. But man, the paint job, the way they set up the wheels, it just looks amazing. Now, I could, this is another one. I can't tell you what this is. It looks from the front end like it's a Porsche, but the rest of it looks like maybe a GT, a Ford GT. I mean, who knows what it is. It does say prototype, so maybe it's some car that hasn't come out yet. I doubt it, but I mean, it's cool though, all right? Here's another wide body car that just looks good. Everything fits like it should. All the wheels and tires, they all match. If you look at the back, got that twin turbo. I believe it's a Porsche. Like I said, you can screw up a car with a wide body or you can make it look amazing like this. One. Here, I believe is the most beautiful car at this show. This is a Nissan Skyline. Uh, I don't know what year, I think it's 70s or 60s, but man, what a beautiful car. I've never seen one of these in real life. I've seen them on TV, but wow, what an amazing looking car for, for the year. Now this is, if you guys aren't familiar, this is like Nissan's version of, it's their supercar. And this is a really nice example. It's right hand drive. It's lowered a little bit. It's got those cool Japanese wheels. Just beautiful car. They even got a Disneyland Autopia car here. Check this out. This last row of cars were actual die cast toys that were made into real life cars. Like this twin engine car, uh, you know, fully modified race car looking thing is a die cast toy. This Star Wars TIE Fighter is a die cast toy that they turned into a real life toy. And all these run, all these run and drive. We have a cool looking skull hot rod. I think about it, if you pull that, if you pull the package out and you see all that, that that's an awesome car. To see it in real life, wow, it's even better course you can't do without Darth Vader's car whenever he needs to get around a grocery store he hops in this thing and takes off last but not least I caught this on the way out 
It's this beautiful looking, I mean, just beautiful, beautiful Bel Air. Steel wheels, nice stands. Man, these are some of my favorite cars. But in saying that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.